हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन टेस्ट फॉर कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ डेटा एज ऑफ नाउ वी ऑल आर अवेयर दैट फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर रेनगे स्टेशन वी डू मेजर द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन एवरी डे फॉर सेवरल वीक्स मंथ्स एंड इयर्स टूगेदर देर आर चांसेस फॉर एनी पर्टिक्युलर रेनगे स्टेशन ड्यू टू एनी रीजन दैट देर इज एन इनकन्सिस्टन्सी इन कीपिंग द रेकॉर्ड of the data so to avoid that there is a technique called double mask curve method that we are going to see in this particular lecture the learning objective of this session is to understand how to find out the inconsistency in records to study the plotting of double mask curve and to learn how to correct the rainfall data beyond inconsistency so let us start if the conditions relevant to the recording of a rain gauge station have undergone a significant change during the period of record inconsistency would arise in the rainfall data of that station this inconsistency would be felt from the time the significant change took place some of the common causes for inconsistency of record are shifting of a rain gauge station to a new location the neighborhood of the rain gauge station undergoing a marked change change in the ecosystem due to calamities such as forest fires landslides etc occurrence of observational error from a certain date due to any of these reasons it may happen that for any rain gauge station there may arise inconsistency in record when a significant change took place in the record keeping we have to make it sure that the data must be corrected in the consistent range the checking for inconsistency of a record is done by double mask curve technique this technique is based on the principle that when each recorded data comes from the same parent population they are consistent this is mo most important thing this technique is based on the principle that when each recorded data comes from the same parent population they are consistent means what for any particular rain gauge station for years together if you are finding out the rainfall data then suppose average yearly rainfall for successive year it must be consistent this is the meaning of this sentence then procedure of double mask curve let capital x be the station where inconsistency in rainfall record is observed select a group of 5 to 10 base stations in the neighborhood of station x data of annual or monthly mean rainfall of station x as well as average rainfall of the group of base stations over a long period is arranged in a reverse chronological order so what is chronological order chronological order means the latest record is the first entry and the oldest record is the last entry in the list accumulated precipitation at station x that is summation px and the accumulated values of the average precipitation of the group of base stations that is p average are computed from the latest records means what if there is an error in the record of station x then the station x va rainfall values monthly rainfall values monthly average rainfall values will be summed up to find out the summation of px and to correct the inconsistency in the record of this values we have to take 5 to 6 or 5 to 10 base stations suppose we are taking six base stations apart from this station x like station 1 2 3 4 5 6 rain gauge stations then summation p average belongs to the average of all the stations together we will understand this in detail in coming figure a plot of summation px versus summation p average for various consecutive time periods is prepared a decided break in the slope of this plot indicates a change in the precipitation regime of the station x 
precipitation values of x beyond the period of change of regime is corrected as p suffix cx is equal to px multiplied by mc upon ma where p cx is equal to corrected precipitation at any time period t1 at station x px is equal to original recorded precipitation at time period t1 at station x mc is equal to corrected slope of the double mass curve ma is equal to original slope of the double mass curve a change in the slope is normally taken as significant only when it persists for more than 5 years so let us understand everything in detail with this double mass curve figure graphical representation shows on x axis there is accumulated annual rainfall of 10 stations mean means what 10 stations are taken as base stations to correct the inconsistency in record apart from the station which is considered as station x for which the values are plotted on this y axis what is on the y axis accumulated annual rainfall at station x summation px in units of 10 raised to 3 centimeter these are plotted on y axis whereas accumulated annual rainfall for station 10 stations mean summation p average in units of 10 raised to 3 centimeter it is plotted on x axis together both values will come up as a single point all these points see it is the chronological order year 70 it is plotted first year 1969 1968 67 likewise the oldest value will go here 54 break in the year 1963 can be seen over here this is 1963 you can see there is a shift in the slope of this particular graph over here after 63 there is change in the slope of the graph so to find out the correction ratio mc upon ma these are the intercepts this vertical intercept from 63 up to this 54 denotes the value a so what is a it is the original slope slope of the mass curve for ma it is the original slope of the mass curve and c it is the corrected slope of the mass curve by this factor you can correct the values of the particular station x where inconsistency is found with the help of this formula if you have to check in inconsistency for any particular year take the value of rainfall for that particular year or month and multiply by this factor you will get the corrected value and this corrected value is to be adopted for any further calculation i hope you have understood the double mass curve technique and how to correct the inconsistency how to find out the inconsistency and how to correct it we will see everything in detail with a numerical ex with a numerical example till then i request all of you to go through these standard reference books if you are having any doubt you can contact me on my email address dnpaitankarce at sanjivani.org.in thanks for listening happy learning